Hi, guys. What's going on, everybody? Oh, so I just, I was, I put Bertha on for a second and I was like, oh, what is she talking about? And I saw she was taking phone calls. Shit, I missed it. Yep. I was in there earlier. I, I was blocked pretty quickly. All I asked is, th does she have any children? I mean, I, I said, I'm new here. Does she have any kids? She doesn't, as it turns out. Yeah. Oh, and they said they can see your lemon today. Oh, good. Can every is our volume okay? I was I was trying to change my volume because I'm usually louder than Sourpuss, and I don't. I tried to put in headphones. My computer wouldn't work with them, so I am charging. I bought new Sony um, earbuds, but forgot to charge them. So, oh, sound is good. Perfect. Yeah. I'm always a little low. I'm on this piece of shit phone. I, I just ordered a new phone and it delivered and it was the wrong damn phone. So, and you have it on speaker. No, it's not on speaker. Well, yeah, it is. It is. Oh, it is. Okay. I was going to say, because that should work. That should, um, and I actually, I put my computer farther away from me, hoping that that would help. I mean, not like super far away, but. Okay, oh, so Remy says you sound a bit better. Well, that's good. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm being careful to have the mic near my mouth here. But yeah, I ordered the new, um, the new nothing phone and they sent me the older model. Amazon. Oh, so I just have to be patient. A few more days, I'll have a better phone here. So, uh, yeah. so Remy said, do you have wired headphones with a mic center? I buy mine at the dollar store and they, I know, they're I fine. I know, I to do that yesterday and I just, I just completely forgot. I got sidetracked. Well, and I think, too, when my earbuds are charged, I think that'll help, too, because, and actually, let me try, let me do one thing, because I did uncheck a button that now I can't find. Yes, Gina, it's uh, the Nothing Phone. It's a pretty slick new phone. It's uh, built and produced in London. Um, it's really slick. It kind of mimics the iPhone, but it's it's uh, Android platform. The the cool thing about it that I like about it is it come, it doesn't come preloaded with a bunch of shit. Like it doesn't have all those useless apps that you never use, and so it's just clean and all the memories available. All right, so I just messed with the StreamYard mic. Do I sound lower? You do. Okay, I guess I figured it out. Huzzah. So I'm going to put myself at 26. So hopefully that actually will help even us out. So I'm not, I'm not like super loud. Oh, it is lower. Okay, good. All yeah, right. It's a little bit lower. <clears throat> hey, effed up. How are you? And I didn't, we didn't say hi to people. We got, and I apologize for being late. It's totally my fault. I'm sitting here thinking, where's Sourpuss? It's seven o'clock. Tick tock. And then I was like, then Sourpuss sent me a message. You good? And I was like, oh, shoot. I forgot to send the link again. <laughs> totally my I was fault. Sitting, I was pacing back and forth like, what is she doing? What is going on? No, I was I was waiting, and then I was like, "Oh my gosh, should have known better." Hey, Gina and Gina, I actually watched your live from, I think it was Thursday, and thank you for the kind words. I appreciate them, and I tried to reinstall Snapchat. Well, I reinstalled Snapchat today on my phone, 
but unfortunately I can't remember my username and password. So I don't know what your message said. So I tried. Um, we've got K Braze here, a Mac, JLL, Laugh at Life. How are you, Laugh at Life? I haven't seen you in a bit. Dutch Oma. Oh, K Braze said, I was going to say this better not be clickbait. Well, I <laughs> thought how. I thought about doing something um, clickbaity because girlfriend had talked about it. I think it was this morning she was live and she was talking about, you know, these haters say I used clickbait. Well, I just used my name like they do. That's not what we meant. Yeah. Like her she title was Bullhorn Bertha was arrested. That's clickbait. That you were arrested. Like. I, just, I noticed just recently, the last few days, that she's really going out of her way to just, like, dismiss the fact that she choked her mom and was arrested 43 times. And, I mean, that's not even what I dislike about her. That's just a fact. It's just it's so strange that she, you know, this good Christian woman that she claims to be, and all she does is judge people. I mean, there's nothing whatsoever Christian about that. That makes her a fake Christian, which is worse than a sinner, in my opinion. So she could she could suck it with all of that. I don't even, I don't know who the hell she thinks she is. Talking bad about parents when she's she's not even fit to change a diaper. Yeah, and I guess her her mom has been spilling a lot of beans lately including the judge that she worked for oh boy um which we be which some of us believe is the quote federal judge that bertha says she worked for of course she doesn't have an original thought in her head But yeah, I was blocked in the chat pretty quick today. Um, that's the first time, well, the second time I've chatted in there in like the last two years, over a year. I can't remember what I was blocked for originally, but. I know that was, it didn't, that, it didn't take long. It's only been what, like a week? Yeah. Five or six days, yeah. I was nice for like an hour and then I just couldn't take it anymore. Um, he runs with scissors. I know. And Amax said, sinner, call in. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, if I had more time, I'm pretty sure she's got my number peg though. I don't use burner phones. Like, like I'm hiding from the world. But I mean, she has the same five people call in. She, it's all scripted. There's nothing original. There's no candid. No, moment. and I was trying, I was trying to figure out whose voice it was. I do have a couple characters cooked up though. What's that? I said, I have a few characters cooked up for when I call in next time. I've been working on my Tennessee accent. Oh, that should be fun. Hey, Tazzy. True Jedi forever. How's it going? Oh, so speaking of morbid, guess who's going to be on his his live on Wednesday? How exciting is that? Bertha. And I mean, it was verified. I don't um, even care if he's nice to her. This is incredible. I mean... I love how Morbid gets more done in one live than all the other fucking community does in like a month. He just comes on, gets his shit done. I understand people, some people don't like him, but I don't think those people are paying attention to what he's doing. He's a fucking genius. Um, 
And Vcaser says, I like Sinner's avatar. I consider it a Sour Patch Kid, but the lemon classic. Evil Queen, how's it going? It's been raining all day, all night. It is downright gloomy. Yeah, that's how it was here. Runs with Scissor says uh, she is going to raid the place. Probably. No doubt you saw my, my comments early on. All I said was, you know, does, does Betty have any children? I'm new here. And zing, I was zapped. Well, and I think it's because the one comment, oh, was about missing kids always being deceased. That one was deleted. Oh, yes, that one too. I said, why do you always, why do you always think that the missing people are dead with no evidence? I mean, she never has, she has nothing. It's ridiculous. She's a Google detective. Yep. Yeah, I thought the same thing, Laugh at Life, like chat is going to annihilate her. And he, I think he's got one mod <laughs> at the moment. I'm sure he'll have um, some type of plan. I mean, but I it, agree, it, like, hopefully, you know, we are adults. I know that there, I mean, there's going to be things said, It, you know, it is what it is. Most of us are blocked and not able to voice what we want to um so i mean i'll be there just watching and i'm excited because i don't have to work on thursday so i'll be able to stay up as late as i need to nice hey lisa yeah. morbid's in california i think he's in la somewhere but Oh, the weather here, uh, it was kind of overcast, Gina, but it was cold. It was like maybe, I don't even think it reached 40 degrees today. Jeez. The sun was out, though, for a while, so it wasn't bad. But getting dark at 4, like 4.30 is is for for the birds. Yeah, I'm not sure how polite I can be in that chat. We'll see. I mean, I might end up being a mod. That'd be fun. Yeah, I agree, VK. So if he asks us to be respectful, I will, res you know, I'm not going to say much because, I mean, well, I guess I might. I call her Bertha, so, I mean, I can say what I want. And everybody else I, that I know I only, calls her Bertha, too. I only call her Bertha here on your channel. Well, no, you can call her her name here. This is our channel. No, no, I mean on your channel. Like, oh yeah, yeah. She just sucks so much. It's unfucking believable how she gets away with this. It's just, I don't get it. I mean, there's been a lot of talk recently in the true true grime community about respect, and I think people fundamentally misunderstand what the fuck respect is. Like, you don't just respect somebody because they're older than you. You don't just respect someone because for any other reason other than it, it was earned. You just don't res respect people blindly because if you do that, you're going to get yourself in real, real trouble real quick. So it doesn't matter. Again, I've said it, but it doesn't matter if you're a senior citizen. If you're an asshole, you're not a respectable person, then you don't garnish respect. That's just the way it goes. Hey, Spitfire, how are you? Okay, Laugh at Life. I came into his live late. So he did say we are all adults and hope to have a few drinks and chat with her and leave the hate at the door. I'm with that. I just hope he asks ask legitimate qu questions. You know. Oh, I agree. I hope he doesn't. I have all confidence in him, though, to be clear. I think he's he's got a plan. It was a little tough to watch that shit with that girl that visited him, though, in his live. Oh, my God. And I think 
it ended up being like eight hours. I think I, well, I, I was getting anxiety. So I had to, I think I turned it, well, I started falling asleep too. I think I turned it off shortly after the, the video with the police officers. Yeah, that was, sheesh. Seems to me that guy's the most patient of anyone I've ever seen. Hey, Crispy. Had no idea you two had this joint YouTube channel until now. Just subbed. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we did this because, um, you know, because I've we like hanging out thing. together and um, Sinner still doesn't have his own channel. <laughs> so I do. I've actually, I've lost five subscribers. It's very disappointing. I, I must have pissed someone off. I seem to do that. With grace, like I just everywhere I go, people get pissed off. I'm fine with it because I'm gonna keep telling the truth, and they can they can work it out. Oh wait, Amex says him showing the stream that he took over with her on panel. Holy smokes! I don't know if I saw that part. Yeah, I think I missed it too. Yeah, I mean, uh, is she talking about Morbid? I know he's been around for a long time, and he's, he's gotten into a lot of things, so I don't know. But, man, that guy's patience with that woman that visited him, that was wild shit. I've never I had just... any experience like that. I would leave my own place. That's what I would do. I would leave. If I was going to call the cops, I would just leave and be like, look, they got to go. I'm sorry if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Morbid had some woman visit him that he met online, and uh, she was a fucking disaster. He basically posted up in his house for a week and like wouldn't leave his bedroom, just put her makeup on for four or five hours a day, and uh, it just progressively got worse. So he had that he had to have her go. Yeah, they were filming each other. She was like on the couch crying, and he's in the kitchen, and they're like filming each other. It was real bizarre. Oh, yes, Amac. Okay, I did see that part. It's when um, Morbid showed the panel that she was on where those co-hosts had said, is that you? And she's like, I don't think that's me. And knowing full well it was her. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Laugh at Life says, uh, women do not act like that. Um, I don't think it's an act. I think that's just the way that woman is. But maybe I'm misunderstanding what you're saying. Women do not act like that. Hmm. Yeah, and she was on camera. I guess Peggy's not around today. That's a shame. She said she was going to unsub, so I guess she did. Oh, good. Oh, I know. Like, when I heard... And, like, I need... I. I probably should watch the whole thing, but I came in around the time that he was talking about her tattooing his name on her arm. <laughs> and I was like, um, actually, I think I sent Sourpuss a message and said, can I tattoo Sinner on my arm? Oh, Jesus. Don't do that. <laughs> I mean, how big, how, what's the biggest red flag that's ever been produced? Like, really? That's that is just, I wouldn't even get my favorite band on me. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Tazzy, I actually thought the same thing. I thought at the end of the live, Morbid was going to say, gotcha. <laughs> but nope. Oh, Spitfire, why would Peggy leave? She was, she was, uh, whenever I got into like that ridiculous beef with uh, Queen B, uh, Queen Griff. A few weeks ago, uh, Peggy was one of the, you know, torchbearers that was out there just saying crazy shit about me. So, and I ignored it for a long time. And then she came into our our chat here during our last live. And I don't know, she's just being goofy. So I called her out and just tired of seeing it. And then, um, ooh, I was really happy to see PJ called her out too. I'm, yes. you know, well, PJ's channel is becoming one of my like, um, uh, what is it? like secret favorites because she's well-spoken and you know guilty pleasure 
Guilty pleasure. That's what I was going for. Thank you. It's okay, Spitfire. I mean, it wasn't personal. I just, like, I've seen her do it to other people, too. I mean, if you have a chance, listen to what PJ had to say about her. Um, it's She's um, far better spoken than I am, but she nailed it. Tazzy has good advice. Please do not do online relationships, y'all. No filters. Yeah. Well, Sourpuss has seen what I look like. So, I mean, not completely, but, I mean, I've shown more than one picture. And that's what you know, I was thinking. You know what he's Like, doing. yeah, you see her on panel, right? But wouldn't you ask for pictures, like, not? Like, I, I don't know how she would look so different than what she did on. I don't, like, if you, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I get what you're saying. Oh, she's like, yeah. Bertha's bling into Ashley Banfield. <laughs> and she is she so is. intimidated by anyone that has any fucking success in their existence whatsoever. I mean, she's never had a win. So, like, of course, it all it all adds up that she would be so bitter, you know, to anyone who's good looking, anyone who's young, attractive, if they've got a nice car, if they've got money, you know, and then she just jams all these people in her head into her politics and it's just weird shit she's a hateful person she's racist and um it's clear as day you know i hate racists. if you guys haven't picked up on that it's my least favorite type of person you know i'd, I'd prefer like a, a overtly violent person over a racist person because at least you know what you're dealing with with someone that's crazy true and guess who entered who just entered her chat Who's that? Morbid? The same person who doxed me in her chat the other day. Oh, fun. How convenient. Yeah, that troglodyte can just, uh, she needs to find somewhere to di fucking disappear. Still causing and how ironic, how ironic that their name is put an end to the hate. Can, yet... can, I, say who, can I discuss who we're talking about? Oh, yeah, I don't, I mean. Um, Jersey. Is... Or what's her what's her what's her actual name? Whatever. We'll just call her Aileen. Jersey. Yeah, she's a fucking maniac. I'm real curious how long exactly how long that uh, Queen Bee was like buying her cigarettes and dog food in order to do crazy shit for her. You know that shit still glossed over. But whatever. I'm not going to do anything to change that uh, royal situation they have over there. That money is going to keep rolling in. It's just what it is. Yeah, Haley hopes exactly. Lighting, filters, angles. I mean, there was a picture I took because I had a pie shirt, like not pie like that you eat, but like the mathematical pie. And so I had to get the whole thing in. So like I had the camera way above my head and someone was like, wow, you got really skinny. And I was like, it's the angle. It's the angle. Lisa Oldham says, oh my God, she still has the ads going. Yes, those ads are atrocious mm -hmm. too. It's crazy to have to watch a commercial to listen to that. I don't even know what to call her anymore. And you miss some of the live when the commercials go. So it doesn't like pause the live. Oh. It just goes over the live. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize that. I don't really have to run, not run into commercials like that very often. Of course, I have premium, but I was on my other account so I could chat in there. Yeah, so Lisa, it's um put an end to the hate. And Bertha usually acknowledges her and will will say, hey. Yeah, I mean she's like a quadruple agent. Like there's nothing more dangerous than someone that has nothing to lose. And that's who that person is. Mm -hmm. She just fucking just trying to get any crumb that she can get from anyone she can get it. It's really pathetic. And people support it, you know, obviously. You're sending the woman money for cigarettes and dog food. You're supporting the shit that she's doing. Tell me different. Right? I mean. Yeah. And she continues to dox me. 
Like Gina said, say yo. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that there's a group of group of ladies that tried to form an organization called Say No. And it's an anti-doxing campaign. Campaign. Um, but they're all they're all bullying Gina at the same time. It's ridiculous. How can you like try to form a campaign about not doxing and harassing people while you're fucking harassing someone? <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. Um, Actually, I might as well just talk about it. I've been getting a lot of shit for having Gina Diamonds back. And uh, I don't give a fuck. That's just the way it is. I, I root for the underdog. I can spot a good person from a bad person from a mile away. I pride myself on it. So if, if me having her back is a problem or whatever, I think those people have to figure it out. Because I'm, I'm going to continue to have Gina's back until I have no reason to. Or until, I mean, I can't imagine. So anybody that wants to cover up their, their hate for trans people by making you about other things when it just, it's clear what it's really about, I'm on to you people. It's not cool. I'm not, I have no love for hateful people. Too many people support it. Rapper coming in and dropping the N-bomb oh in chat God. is not okay. We can't be like, oh, rapper, fuck that person. We can't permit people to be hateful like that. I mean, if you, if you don't like somebody, put some words together, complete a sentence. You don't have to, you know, go for the, the obvious insult or whatever. But I know those people are, you know, not supportive of uh, minorities. They're not supportive of trans people. You know, anybody who's not real white and looks like them and has their weird little accent, they're against. And I can see it. I don't understand why everyone ignores it. But I mean, <clears throat> that's my rant on that. Gets me fired up when I see someone that's obviously racist or obviously hateful and they look for any other reason to pick someone apart except for what they don't like about them. Sucks. Yeah, I agree. I, K Bray says, I hate everyone equally. Well, there's another way to look at it. Yeah, but then you might end up hating yourself. You don't want to do that. Yeah, that's true. I know, and I didn't realize that he had typed out the N-word, and I was like, oh, hell no. Yeah, I he mean, went how right that, to oh, Black rapper, Island. Like, there are certain things that I, I, I consider outside of the perimeters of acceptability, and that's one of them. So I, I'm confused how everyone could be like, oh, rapper, oh, that's, fuck that. No, no, no. I mean, where I'm from, you get your fucking mouth punched for saying things like that. I mean, who? how do these people feel so comfortable with their hate? I agree. But, yeah. I digress. Towers are not acceptable. I don't Towers understand are... yeah. what that means. You never know what someone, someone sitting, you know, in their living room typing in towers are not acceptable. Yeah, Lisa, I, she said, I agree, Sinner. I was raised to be kind. I mean, it's really that simple. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm not really a proponent of if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all, obviously. Um, but there's there are ways to just be kind to someone. You know, when someone says hello to you and you're walking down the street or hold the door for someone, it's, it's simple, simple shit. I think a lot of these people just... Because the times, the way things are nowadays, I think they just missed all of that. And they're just sitting there clicking and clacking away on their phone or their iPad. And they're just missing the most of the human experience that, you know, people before them. It, I, it, it's upsetting to me, you know. It, it, it upsets me that racist cunts can sit in their, in their house and spout hate 
comfortably. I think these people should always be uncomfortable. Anyways, sorry for the words. No, it's all right. So, oh, so towers are like when you spell out a word one at a time uh, cool, in cool. chat. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah, know I had never heard that before, but that's a good way to describe it. Yeah, sorry, Maureen. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be mean. I just had no idea what you were saying. But yeah, so that's where it stands. I mean, I'm going to have Gina's back. Uh, Gina's a friend of mine, a YouTube friend of mine. So, I mean, for, for what it's worth, I, I, just like anybody, if, there, if, it, if someone's a good person and they're being picked apart by a mob, I'm going to have their back. We all make mistakes. Yeah, I agree. I I make mistakes every day. Yeah, I mean, I've done things that I regret. I've had to apologize to people. That's part of being alive. I mean, the secret to it is owning up to your shit. And it, it's impossible in, in this platform to redeem yourself. And I'm so against that. I'm all for redemption. You never know. These these people would stop and help you fix a flat maybe one day. Or maybe they wouldn't, you know. So Kbray says, it's pretty sad that all the channels that I like to watch seems like they are all against each other lately. I feel like, and I haven't, I mean, I, I'm so behind in watching what I usually watch. Um... I mean, I just watched Gina's from Thursday, so I'm, I'm really behind and I just feel like, I don't know, like I don't have anything against anybody really. I mean, the only yeah, one yeah, that I, I just have, you know, a few people who have doxxed me or been complete assholes. So, I mean, but I don't, yeah, I don't know from, anybody. coming from me too. They're trying to dox me as well. Um. I'll say it. I mean, yeah. I'm my my plan is to stay in, uh, you know, anonymous online for my own safety and sanity. So if people find interest in giving my name to people, that's just weird, man. And uh, let me catch you in the street with that shit. That's all I can say about that. I've got it. I've got a little money saved up. I'll, I'll bail myself out. No, I was apologizing for dropping the C bomb. That was that's never, never great to hear. Oh well, I feel I feel like that word has been thrown around a lot lately. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I don't even I'm not fond of the word myself, but it does get a point across. Gina said, I have actually been mending bridges this week, and one person who went after me first, I asked them for a truce. I want peace over victory. I mean, there's no shame in that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the way. I think that's really, that's how these dirtbags lose, in my opinion, is if all the wheeling and dealing they're doing to pit people against each other and sending screenshots, and it's all, the only thing that's going to stop those atrocious people is if people don't give them any weight if we if we can get along with each other and don't let them fucking try to separate us and put us on teams or whatever because most of us it's clear to me most of us have no interest in being on anyone aside of anything it's ridiculous so the way we take their power away is just not respecting their authority or their presumed authority yeah, and like Spitfire says, I watch who I want to. That would be like choosing between my kids. And I mean, I saw Spitfire yesterday in Laura's chat. I didn't stay long because I was falling asleep, but I still wanted to go in and say hi and, you know, see what Laura was talking about. And I mean, I see people everywhere. I typically don't hang out in Laura's, hardly ever. But um, I've never, she's always been fair with me, so... I mean, I kind of did hijack her panel to speak my mind one time, but 
she allowed me and she was gracious. So, I mean, I understand why she has beef with people though. I mean, there's a lot of shit there, but I don't know. I'm really not familiar with any of it. So it's not, I'm not interested. Spitfire says I got blocked in one chat for the wrong emoji. <laughs> Sounds like they need to loosen up. Just saying. Yeah, we call yeah. that K Braves, we call that planned ignoring positive attention or PIPA for short. Nice. There we go. Because yeah, if good. you ignore them for their bad behavior, it will, you know. Yeah, it just it makes you out. feel some side, sort of way. So then when you correct those behaviors, you're not ignored anymore. You're given positive attention. Mm -hmm. too, too logical. Makes too much sense. Yeah, I'm wondering what emoji too. Spitfire, put the emoji in my chat. I want to see, see what emoji you got blocked for. Yeah, let's see it. I mean, I've made videos with Laura in them, and she still says hi to me every single time I go in there. And it's, again, it's nothing. I have no ill will against anyone. It's just, I hear something interesting, I'm, I'm going to clip it. No. Are you kidding, yeah. Spitfire? No way. Well, what I missed. The, the crying, laughing emoji. He was blocked for that? Yeah, I think Spitfire wow. is a girl. She, sorry. I always fuck that up. That's all right. Well, I mean, the the avatar looks like a guy, so. Yeah, it looks like um, Apex Twin. Remember that? It's like a techno producer from the 90s. I think so, yeah. Well, that actually... When I was looking up um, Bertha memes, that actually came up. That's funny. Yeah, my bad, Spitfire. I always, I always miss fucking gender people by accident. It's like a, it's like a curse of mine. I never have any bad intent, but it happens weekly. Oh, see, AMAC, actually, we said it at the same time. Didn't you search Bertha and that picture came up? Sure did. <laughs> right, Jinx? That's cool. AMAC is uh, still having trivia after this? I think at 10, right, AMAC? 10, um, well, 10 Eastern, which I think is 7, seven Pacific. Yeah. That's a, Those games are a lot of fun, I think. Haters are tuning in to, for reasons to be mad at you. And we're just playing games. It's hilarious. Wait until Bertha finds out that uh, uh, those word games are just all secret code to um, demolish her YouTube career. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, no, Lisa, I haven't even been on. I haven't. I haven't been on email all day. My bad. I'll go look now. Um, Lisa, you sent them today? I don't see any emails from you today. But I did see, didn't you send me, wait, I thought I responded to the one you sent to me. Oh, maybe I didn't, but yes, about the judge and Bertha's sister's name. I knew her sister's name, but, you know, I don't talk about that. But I did no, no, no. see the one about the judge. But I couldn't read the article because I wasn't going to subscribe in order to read it. Yes, Kay Bray's... Uh... 
Don't forget the decoder ring. <laughs> oh, Spitfire. I Men can, don't I think, think I'm pretty. I think it's the pigtails. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, yeah, you can do crosswords? Oh, that's cool. Hey, Mac, we're going to have to get together because you know how to do things that I don't. Yeah, and... we still have to figure out how to make a trailer for a YouTube Live. I know. If Bertha can figure it out, I don't know, <laughs> I know. why I can't. <laughs> I was so offended when I saw she figured it out. I was like, Unless oh. you have to have a certain amount of subs, that's the only thing I can think of. Could be. The first time I saw it was uh, it could know. And I was just blown away. I was like, that's the coolest shit ever. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's a way to make a trailer for your live. So mm -hmm. it's like a short commercial, you know, like a trailer for your live. It's rad. <clears throat> and I I saw HML use it one time, and I haven't seen anyone else use it until Betty. Right. And they both have, I think, I feel like I've heard like 10,000 subs and up, they tend to, they start getting like more perks. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I feel like it has to do with sub count. That makes sense. I mean, why would they? Yeah. It would be, it would be a nightmare for them to roll out all of those, you know, options for every user of YouTube. Well, I mean, Spitfire, their computers would crash. Spitfire said she got tired of men trying the SCX BS on here, so I fixed it. Well, that should fix it, hopefully. Oh, Gina, it gives you the option to do that. Do you have to be in studio when you create the live? Yeah, I mean, it's a, what an incredibly effective tool that is. I mean, And it like premieres, so I was confused. I got an alert, and so I clicked on it. It was I'm like, what am I? I was confused about what I was watching until it was over, and I was like, oh shit, that was a trailer. And actually, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that. Oh wait, it was her her clickbait live. She had she actually Bertha had a trailer for her live last night and I was like, why is stuff playing already? And I realized it was because she had a trailer going on. Yeah, we've got to figure that out. Oh, she put a short video up today. It's all about Bullhorn Betty. Should we take a look at it? Sure. Let's do it. I, I will say one more thing about her before we get started, though. Um, my second is the, the. Oh, you're cut. You're cutting out. Oh, sorry. 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 I walked away. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. OK. My, my second least favorite type of human being are the ones that attempt to rewrite their own history. Um, we all know the shit that she's done, um, but she. I don't know if she's trying to convince herself or other people that, you know, that stuff isn't true, but we all know it's true. I mean, it's the, the, the secret way around it is owning up to your shit. I mean, if you can't do that, then you're, you're not a respectable person. Oh, hey, Coco Puff. You thought you were going to miss this. Well, you didn't miss this. So thanks for, for being here. So I was just looking, um, I had Bertha up her live, but then I was looking and I was like, wait, what is this video? She did like an eight minute video that's called, it's all about Bullhorn Bertha. Oh boy. So I have no idea what she's going to say. Let me just put her volume on like halfway. And she's got closed captioning, so thank you for that. I hate to say it though, like what, she has this weird thing whenever she does the craziest shit. That, that's when she looks the healthiest for some reason. Bizarre. Hmm. And I noticed she cleaned her office. 
I mean, she looks healthy. I'm not going to lie. I, would, I hate to say it, but she looks healthy. Yeah, uh, she know, looks physically. She looks physically healthy, but obviously she's unwell. But she looks right. great. I mean, I mean, I've seen way worse looking people than her. So clip that. Yeah, there we go. I mean. All right, let's I know, see what she has to say. I know half of these hags that, you know, talk about her don't look half as decent as she looks. It's crazy. In AMAC, she did say that because the green screen was causing, like, it to lag. So she did say, you guys are just going to have to deal with my mess. So that was why she had the green screen up. But she did clean up. It looks like she cleaned up some of the, the papers that were laying around. AMAC says uh, she's not, uh, yeah, she is, yes, she is not an ugly person. She actually looks like my aunt. We might be related, AMAC, because she looks like my aunt, too, my Aunt Linda. Yeah, she's not. It's it's her attitude and her, her it's thought her process that's Exactly. Off. Oh, my word. It's her thought process. It's her, you know, computation. She doesn't. I mean, it's like tone deaf to the ultimate extreme. All right, let's see what she's got to say here. So, hey, guys. Hey. Oh, God, and I had her on <laughs> half volume. Yikes. All right, let me, sorry, y'all. Hey guys, hey guys, we'll wait until a few people get in here. This is, I'm just running straight YouTube today. I'm not even um, running through StreamYard right now. I really didn't care to, to be honest with you. I was just coming live for just a few moments because um, I'm leaving here to go to a, a, a baby shower. So I figured I'd just jump in here and say hi to everybody and make sure you guys see my latest, <laughs> my latest, um, uh, video that's it my latest video Jeez. good lord good lord so, so she's coming on oh no she, i was gonna say so she shows her video she doesn't she does talk but i do have to speed her up just a little bit she is something else she doesn't remember anyone's names recently have you noticed this she's talking about cases and she's like you know the dad mm -hmm. used to, used to, she doesn't know anyone's fucking name uh, about any of the stories that she's talking about right and i, I mean, was I like guess, I suppose it's better to to not know their name. Just not know their name than say the wrong name. But it, even still, like, what what's her whole story here? How can she have a true crime channel and she doesn't even know people? Oh, sorry. So I hope everybody's having a good day so far. And I'm not going, the reason why I'm coming live right now is because I'm going to be leaving here literally in 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes. And I know that we're getting accustomed to having a night show. Um, our night show is like, um, you know, 6.30 at night. We do a show 6.30 in the morning and one 6.30 at night. But today I'm going to a baby shower and I've got um, a political event that I'm, a political dinner that I'm going to uh, this evening. So I probably won't be back here in the. But she's live right now. Yeah, and who the hell would invite her to a baby shower? Or, anyways, Office people like her. About 10. Yeah, Sorry, I don't people, know. People like her are the reason that they put those uh, electronic like alarm bracelets on infants in the fucking hospital when they're born. In my opinion, I wouldn't want that woman anywhere near a child. That's <laughs> me either o'clock tonight or later, you know, or later. And I have literally no earthly idea. So um, anyways, we will be talking about true crime. <laughs> the reason why I put the reason why I put the title on here that I did is because I have some Yahoo in my uh, in my comments from this morning is saying that I. Oh, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, is she going to talk about you here? I used to love y'all. things about me. I'm thinking. Oh, someone in her comments put that she always makes things about her. Well, you kind of do. Are you an idiot? It's called the Bullhorn Betty Show. 
like, who, who do they think this is? What do they think this show is about? Yeah, we cover true it? crime, but it's not the true crime channel. It's the Bullhorn Betty channel. It's the Bullhorn Betty channel. So anyways, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. You guys don't have to worry about anything. I'm just going to let this flow through. You guys will get this uh, commentary, get this live, get this whatever as it goes around. I didn't uh, schedule this. Again, just popped in here just for a quick second to let you guys know tonight. I know we are waiting for 6.30 to roll around for the Bullhorn Betty channel. And it's just not going to happen because to be honest with you, I have a dinner at 6. So there's no way that I will be here at 6.30 um, to go live. So again, apologies for the scheduling conflict, but when I, and I actually realized this like an hour ago, but I've been so busy here that I haven't had an opportunity to even come live and I was just so about busy. to walk out the door. Busy, and busy, she busy. also forgot, she had some kind of political dinner or an event this past week that she forgot about. I was like, how do you forget like an important event? <laughs> I think... I mean, I, again, I shy away from diagnosing or, you know, saying what's wrong with someone because I don't fucking know. But she has been having a difficult time remembering shit. Like, it, it's evident. I could see it. I watch her enough to know it's like, oh, something's going on. So, I mean, all jokes aside, hopefully she gets that shit looked at and taken care of because it's it's not a good look. It's really not. And it, it does it injustice to every single fucking case that she talks about because she can't get it together. Uh, to head to the baby shower and thought, oh crap, I need to let the audience know what's going on because you guys are going to be expecting a live tonight at 6.30. Well, it's not happening. It's not happening. So I think I spanked my state attorney. Uh... And here's the thing. She's said in the past, oh, I'll be back later. I'll be back later for a live and then never does. Doesn't post, doesn't let anybody know. So why now? Why do you have to come live to let people know you're not going to be live? when you've done you've said things in the past that you're going to go live and not gone live mm -hmm. i think it's really clear as well that um the 100 200 people that show up that's her core group i don't know what the twenty four thousand number is about but that's clearly faulty something's not right there we, we've said it a dozen times but like honestly there's no logical reason that she would have less than one percent of her subscribers watching her when she goes live that just doesn't add up. It's it's really, I mean, you're the mathematician, sweetie pie. You tell me. Ask the question again. Sorry, I was looking at chat. How is it that less than 1% of her subscribers tune in when she goes live? I, I think her actual fan base is smaller than yours is. And uh, I hope she hears this. Betty, how the fuck do you have 24 plus thousand subscribers and have 0.001% of those fucking people watching you when you go live. How's that? Make that make sense for me. It's not a glitch. Something's not right. No. And right now, oh, she just ended her live, but she had a hundred. Oh, wait, it's, she's still live. She shows that one video at the end. She has 120 people watching with 24,300 subs. So, yeah, that's less than 1%. Yeah. <laughs> like a tenth it, of a percent. I don't even... I think, it'd be, I think it should be discussed more openly here on YouTube, what the fuck is going on. Because, like, we focus on her so much, it, other people must be doing this as well. It's six tenths of a percent. Six tenths of a percent. Mm -hmm. I mean. And then if we, so if we look at our channel, we have 32 watching and 193 subs. 17%. That's my point exactly. It, it just mm -hmm. doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't, uh, doesn't add up. I mean, the, the problem with that is the reason I am focused on that right now is because when someone, when I look at a, a content provider on YouTube, I watch a lot of YouTube. When I look at their numbers, I, it's the first thing I look at is their numbers. So you just, you just automatically, I do, I automatically assume that if 24,000 people 
are interested in what this woman has to say, then there must be some value in it. There must be something there, a takeaway, something. Um, but if the reality is there's only 125 people that support it, then I would, I would be less likely to click on it. So it's it's false advertisement. It's it's representing it, she's representing herself as though she's uh, an established respectable you know YouTube channel when in reality she's got like 120 probably bedridden people watching her fucking lives and everyone just ignores that. Well, not everyone. Yeah, and the the great YouTube purge is supposed to happen in December. Starting December, I'm guessing December 1st, is when they're going to start deleting inactive, well, let me, let me back up. They are going to start deleting inactive accounts that have been unused for two years or more. I hope that really happens. <clears throat> Laugh at Life says J J L R hit 100,000 subs during the manhunt. Bet not even 5% of those watch him anymore. Yeah, probably. He did spike, didn't he? That was crazy. I mean, I even found myself watching him, and ugh, I don't do that. Sinner, your man's here. What up, he Cheese? Was in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Always better when Cheese is around. Mm -hmm. He was in the bushes, but he he came out to say hi. And cheese, I don't know exactly what happened with between you and my my mutual friend, but I hope we can work around it. Like I, you know, I'll mediate a conversation if that if that needs to happen. You're both good people. Yes, and Amac, feel free to drop your link too. Uh, you know, just a little bit. I've, I've literally plastered a video on every single social media platform. Wait a minute. I saw something about spanking her state attorney. Yeah, you know, on every single social media platform. Oh, I got to back up a little more. Not happening. So I think I spanked my state attorney, uh, you know, just a little bit. I've, I've literally plastered a video on every single social media platform. And, and the bad part about doing that is when you kind of sit it all out at the same time, it all drowns itself out because it's all hitting the same algorithm on Google at the same time. So it's just a pain in the butt. But either way, I, it, I don't really care. It's not really a something that needs immediate attention, right? It's a long-term thing because, quite frankly, I have questionable issues with this guy in general, but I'm not even going to bring it on my channel. We're going to stay focused to the true crime aspect of this uh, particular thing. But I can tell you I'm hot under the collar about this this creep. Like, I didn't realize. And I, still, I still am not computing just how close this animal was to me. And I don't think any of you guys will. And I almost I almost want to do another show just to drive you guys, not even drive you there. Guys, this is so close, it's in walking distance. Like I could literally- Oh no, VK, sir. So as long as you're active, meaning you log into your YouTube account, it won't be deleted. So it's those accounts that haven't been utilized that they're going to be eliminating. Oh, she was making comments about it, the lawsuit to Mab yesterday, Lisa. See, I didn't I didn't get that far. I still have to finish that live. But I did download it just in case she makes it private or puts it behind a paywall. Really be there in less than five minutes on foot. That's how close this is to my house. Five minutes on foot. It's like 30 seconds in a car. It's down the road. Literally down the road. My mom says it's in a quarter of a mile. No, it's it's less than that. It's like a tenth of a mile. It's less than a tenth of a mile away from my house. It's that freaking close. I thought it was in your backyard. Yeah, she she uh, quote unquote said there the there are bodies in my backyard. Like <laughs> yeah, like re like watch your words, lady. Like literally. <laughs> well, no. It's not literally. It's figuratively speaking. So I'm highly upset. Just, I, I can't describe it. I'm sure you guys would probably understand if you had a crazy man, you know. How do I know he wasn't looking in my windows, right? I mean, he's crazy. He's crazy. So anyways, uh, that's really all I have to say. So you guys will have a great Saturday. I hope you guys are having fun. Hey, Evie.
I, yeah, I hope you guys are having fun today, but we're not going to be, uh, we're not going to be here. And don't forget, uh, before I, I let you guys go, because I, I, I do have to run, I only want to come up here just for a few moments um, uh, to talk to you about this. Tomorrow, uh, I know you guys know and are familiar that we're not having um, a 6.30 show tomorrow. However, we have church. Our church is at uh, 9.30 in the morning. So uh, I will post the link uh, to the church service. Probably they've been getting the link up a lot, a lot sooner. Hey, Miss Robin, um, they've been getting the link up a lot sooner. So I'll post the link about, uh, I don't know, about 9 or 9.15, whenever the link is up. And then we'll go over to church tomorrow night. I think I am going to go ahead and go live tomorrow night at 6.30. So you guys are going to get a live from me tomorrow, uh, but it will be at 6.30. I'm not sure really what case I'm going to dive into. Um, Sunday, I almost feel like I want to go back on a case to uh, revisit an older case that may have hasn't been solved. Maybe we will have some open panel discussions, um, potentially about the Summer Wells case. Oh, please don't. I don't know why she keeps I know circling there's been back. I, I, don't know. Know why, I don't know why she keeps circling back to Summer Wells. Like, just, just leave it alone. It's all, I mean, it's so clear that she has no fucking idea uh, of anything that, that's occurred there. Just leave it alone. I mean, it's, she doesn't realize she does more harm than she does good. there yeah sorry it's okay I was looking at I chat. Just, just got quiet i didn't know um but yeah, yeah I, I mean why why does she always want everyone to be dead like she has like a like a fetish for fucking dead people it's creepy and obvious like she always wants it it always has to be it always has to be like a worst case scenario you know uh the most tragic explanation you know i i still believe Layla santanello and summer wells have a great chance at still very much being alive. The reason I say that is because there's no evidence that says that they, they have passed away, that they were murdered. Nothing says that. We just, we're talking about missing people, not dead people, people that are we can't find. So I, if she gets off on like playing up this, like making it sexy, this whole death thing is sexy, that's, the, that's her angle. Mm. But, how does everyone not say, okay, that's enough? I mean, that crosses yeah. the line. There's nothing sexy about missing children, Betty. Nope. Sure isn't. I've been hearing. I haven't really been watching because I've, you know, for the last year, tuned YouTube completely out. So I, I literally watch no channels. <laughs> You were in my chat one day. How do you? How can you say you've tuned YouTube out the last year, and that you've literally watched no channels when you actually were in my chat, watching my channel? <laughs> oh my word! I don't watch Justice for All. I don't watch, uh, you know, uh, J is for Justice. I don't watch any uh, true T Rev. None of them. I don't watch any of them. I, I just I, I I do my own research. I stay out of their you know their commentary, their biasness, their unbiasedness, you know whatever they have. I just stay out of it. Um, but I noticed that there's been a lot of stuff coming to me with misinformation about the Summer Wells case that we all know is inaccurate and untrue. So we may just go back and start reviewing some of the videos that we did, some of the content we took from two years ago when we were out there. Um, I, I didn't break. I've still got to find other ones because I've only got. Um, it, I don't, I can't even find my December. I've got to go back and find my, when we went out there in December, I've got my January, my February, my March, my April, my May, and my June trip of 2022, but I don't have any of the other ones. So they're commingled somewhere. I just got to find them. So I will find them and I will get, mm -hmm. uh, we will go look through them and we'll look at all the interviews that we had from the people in and around the wells at the time that Summer Wells went missing, because to be honest with you, those are the most important. I could care less what interviews they're getting, you know, two years later, right? Because we hit it really hard there at the beginning. If they weren't there at the beginning and we have no name of them, how are they people of, that we need to speak to this many years later? Now, there is a possibility that, um, you know, these are people that didn't want to come forward then, but since a significant amount of time, is, we do have those, those situations that pop up. Uh, where's my time? I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. I'm sorry. I wish I could stay here longer, but tomorrow we'll, we'll go to church 930 and then tomorrow evening, 630, we'll have the uh, show that we were going to have this evening, um, because I've got to go. <laughs> so have a great day, guys. I love you and God bless. Yeah, bye. So then why did she go live if she wasn't going to be around? So that video was from... 
She posted that. Oh, that was nine hours ago. Okay. But then she came live. I know I always say it, but there really is something going on with her recently. And, um, well, I guess I can share this with you guys. I have discussed with, with Emmy in the past, are we doing too much? Is it, is it, is it too much? Are we doing too much to this woman? Are we picking on her? Are we being bullies to her? Because it, it, at one point, it was a legitimate concern of mine. Suffice it to say, I've moved past that because it, we, we aren't bullying her. We're calling her out for being a bully and stomping around. There's a big difference. I understand it can get murky and a lot of people have an opinion that like, oh, these people just, just cover Betty. Well, yeah, firemen just put fires out. So, I mean, that's what it is. Like if, it, you know, I, I've said it before, if there's a dumpster on fire in your neighborhood, you don't just walk by it and ignore it. You make efforts to uh, mitigate the hazard. And that, I think that's what I think that's what Emmy does with with dealing with Betty because he's never a bully or mean. Just I try not fact. to be. I mean, sometimes I call her bad words, but it's no, more but for her actions, not for who she is. Exactly. And I, do you recall me bring that up to you? I mean, I was worried about it. Mm, honestly, no. Yeah. Well. I mean, I, I trust that you did, but <laughs> no, I, I did. I did because I, I felt, I felt dirty because I mean, I, at one point I was going at her pretty hard. I really didn't understand how this stuff works. I think people don't, you know, don't realize that everybody's not real savvy when it comes to YouTube. I, I mean, a, a year and a half ago, I didn't even know you can comment. If that gives you any indication of like my YouTube skill level, you know, um, but I did start feeling bad. You know, and I don't want to feel bad um, for doing the right thing. So I just, I, I pulled back on, you know, I don't talk about her hairline or all that obvious stuff anymore. And I kind of regret it. It seemed petty to me to do that, you know. And the people that are against me and other people doing that, I think are right. Um, but there's plenty of actual shit that she's done and she does that we could continue to call out as all. Well. Um, I don't know, I geez. Mean, I, I I don't think I'm a bully. I really don't. Like, in fact, I I stick up for people that are bullied. So, it it, it sucks to hear you say that, to be honest, man. But I respect it. And like I said, it's it's a it's um it's something that I consider. I am an active, you know, I'm actively trying to not do that. So, like I said, I, it sucks that you feel that way, man. And I feel like I remember Chi saying that before. I vaguely remember um, having this conversation or or talking about it before. I don't remember it exactly because I feel like it was a little while ago. But, um, you know, looking back at some of the clips I took, did I get a little petty? Yes. Do I, would I have done it over? Yes. Um, but I did, I did, you know, with everything that happened, you know, a little while ago, I self-reflected and decided that I was only going to be calling out the things that really, really needed to be called out. For example, not knowing the true facts of daniel robinson's case yeah that was just unacceptable i mean i i did tell you that i was i was interested and tempted to go there myself to to see this is my thinking on uh, on that case i think that again it's racism and you know how, how much i love that stuff so my plan if i were to uh, to do it would be to go there throw on a fucking hoodie with a confederate flag on it and sit at the local bar around 
you know, closing time when everyone gets off work and see if one of these fucking idiots out there heard a story, you know, maybe they would be far more likely to tell me sitting there with the Confederate flag on my hoodie than they would his father who's out there looking for him because they're racist people. Um, it's not great. But something's got to crack in that case. Like something's got to give because someone knows what happened. Oh, Tazzy, yeah. I mean, I think it it's, you know, it happens to all of us. And I mean, I trust in the universe. And I know that when I need to be checked, you know, I always say, check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what I say to my students. I need to and say it to myself more often. No, I mean, we hey, all make Karen? mistakes. We have to be allowed to, you know, be allowed to make mistakes. Just when you do make a mistake, it, in my opinion, in the, these YouTube streets, if you fuck something up, just apologize. Like even when Laura, or not Laura, I'm sorry, um, Crimes in Fashion, I was I was in her chat being an asshole, admittedly, right? So I got kicked out, I got booted out, and then like a half hour later, she went fucking live again and did like a whole 12 minute live video just about me in her chat and how horrible of a person I am. And that, that's, that is the most petty shit I've ever seen in my life. And I, I like Lisa, I'm still a fan of hers. I watch in the bushes. So like, it was complicatedly upsetting for me when that occurred obviously no one wants to hear shitty things about themselves and especially when i knew i was wrong already in fact and she can confirm this i texted her and said i'm very sorry for doing that it will never happen again and uh that was before she went live so that just tells me what i'm dealing with here like just like, give me a fair shake and I'll give you a fair shake. And I, that's how I am with everyone. So I did put a poll about if we should um, open the panel. And we had, actually, I'm going to end it. We had 80% say yes. And so then I had asked in chat who would actually join us. And I haven't seen anyone say they would. She said he would love to, but he's cooking for people in town. So that's, you know. And Cheese is a really good chef, by the way, if you guys don't know that. Yeah, I I wish I was a really good chef. I'm, I'm, I'm a novice home cook. I, I, you know, in my mind, I'm pretty good. Although I, I'm, I do have uh, a, my buddy here in Sacramento, and I cook dinners for their family quite often, three or four days a week, in fact. All right, well, I will put the link in chat, like if anybody wants to join. Um, it's completely up to you. Thanks, Lisa. I immediately, because I knew I, Lisa said, oh damn, well you did the right thing by apologizing to her, yes. Because I felt bad, I knew I fucked up. I mean, it, in addition to that, it was double bad because Emmy is a moderator in her chat, and it, from her perception, it looked as though Emmy was permitting me to be a, a jerk, and uh, that wasn't the case. So, like, I fucked up. I fucked up towards Emmy and Lisa at the same time. So, of course, I'm gonna apologize. I I didn't I didn't mean to pit two good people against each other, which Lisa and Emmy are both good people. Um, so yeah, it sucks. I can't, like, I still watch her, but I'm not, I can't chat. I mean, it would, it would make her look bad if I was allowed to chat, to be honest, after she, she had that whole production. Like, she didn't have to do that. She could just call my phone and be like, what the fuck, dude? What was that? And then I could be like, yeah, I'm sorry. You know? But I didn't have that opportunity. I, I felt like I was fucking ripped off of that chance. Uh, when was, <clears throat> excuse me, when was this? I can't remember. It was maybe a month ago. 
I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, Lisa says, but she allows, does she allow rapper in there? So yeah, I mean, I don't understand. I'm not going to go out of my way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to go out of my way to go there and cause trouble because I actually, I like her. I think she's fucking fascinating to watch. I mean, she, she dresses up and she has strong, bold opinions. I mean, how could someone like me not enjoy that? You know, I just got carried away. It was it was a rough fucking few weeks there with people, you know, you you state facts about the, the right or wrong person on YouTube, and uh, they'll come for you. And, I mean, they they came for me hard. But unfortunately for them, I I'm not backing down. Like if if I if I see it, I'm saying it. Yeah, I don't I'm not giving rapper a pass anymore with that. There's some words you can't say. I mean you get your teeth knocked out where I'm from if you say words like that. I don't know where Emmy went. But yeah, I mean, does anybody want to come up? When she gets back, I think she wants to have some people up on a panel. I hate panel channels, but I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, she says, Sinner, what last what last of sack? I'm not sure what the question is. I Yeah, I'm still up in Sacramento now. It's fucking windy and raining and shit. It's nasty. Cat fights, yeah, she's probably <laughs> refereeing. I'm back, sorry. Hey, yo. No cat fights. Don't, no cat. Yeah, it was a pee break. <laughs> no cat fights. Well, there was a cat fight earlier. But cool. no, uh, that was not. She says uh, he'll, he'll come up. Oh, all right. Sounds good. And and, and just just to be honest here, I, I'm sorry, Cheese, if, I, if I'm like bringing up shit that you don't want to talk about, like. I should, I can email you or something. I'm not putting you on the spot, man. Oh, you're at the rank and you have hockey, so it's loud. Yeah. I fucking love hockey. I've, I've seen Lisa around for, I think she, I think Lisa was one of the first YouTubers that I was like, like friendly with. If I remember correctly, she was Ick and Mouse. I don't, I can't recall exactly where I saw her, but she's always been such a sweetheart. And I have a feeling that if I did something really fucked up, she would be the first person to call me out on it too. So it's good to have good people around. Oh, Karen, I hope you feel better. I know at work, um, there's a lot of people that are getting that you know, like chest congestion and the cough. And I just keep hoping that it doesn't affect me. Yeah, I've, I've been in a stuffy nose the last couple of days. Oh, wow. K-Breeze is replacing an engine in a truck. Fuck yeah. Ah, oh, there's cheese. Okay, so, okay, we're getting that thing about the Android, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I got the same warning. It just, just bypassed it. Just exit out hey cheese hello can you hear me we can all right <clears throat> i just got a minute um i was gonna call gina but i could do that in a little bit i didn't really want to get into the whole betty thing right now because i do kind of see it as bullying if you look at it from a psychological aspect but i i want to ask center where, where are you at in sacramento center where am I at? Yeah, we'll park. Uh, I'm like, uh, I don't want to give him my whole. I thought it Citrus Heights. Okay, cool. Up north. So is, yeah, just up north. Okay, just real quick. Yeah. Bullhorn Betty was just in the 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 backstage. 
and it was it was it had her picture they're gone now but that was a little weird um it must be a spoof there's no way she would yeah it's probably not her yeah she would never she would never do that although i mean the offer stands i and she's i gotta say that i don't disagree with you like it's 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 honestly like something I, i can i'm concerned about and i try to get better at it you know what i mean um I just, I just want her to stop being so nasty, you know, like I, there's no, you can't change someone. I get that, but I can't ignore it. I don't have a problem with people calling her out. It's, it's when you, when the people are making fun of her looks and all of, you know, that kind of thing that that's, that's bullying. And she, she obviously has some mental disorders and I'm not, and I'm not qualified to diagnose anybody either, but I mean, I have some psychology courses, more towards children's because I work in group homes. Actually, I work in a group home in Sacramento. Oh, cool. But, um, and I think, um, yeah, as far as Betty goes, I, I mean, if she had Down syndrome or something that she, and you made fun of her because of her looks and stuff, that's kind of along the lines I'm thinking with Betty. But, um, or Bertha, I don't know what you guys call her over there. Yeah, we can call her. But la- no, later for that. Think, I, yeah, I don't disagree with you. To be clear, like I, I don't think we disagree at all. Like I, I've, I've been making a conscious effort to not be petty with it. You know, just call out the facts. Let her use her own words against her stuff like that. Like, cause yeah, I don't, and that's a, that's I don't, more than enough because she, yeah. she, you know, she steps in a hole every time she momentum is forward. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. I mean, it doesn't make me feel good to say petty negative things about someone's weight or their hair like I, I, it's not a it's not a joy you know producing thing so i got you man i i honestly agree with you um and 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 i'm, I'm not harboring any negative feelings towards you at all bro at all man, it's good man you you're know. the homie right? i mean i do you I always, it's always good when you're around you know that's why like like i mentioned i i just hope we can work around things because uh i don't know you know what i'm saying yeah 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 that's cool though. You're you're technically you're not in Sacramento, but you're you're up there. Yeah, yeah. Citrus Heights is almost El Grove, isn't it? Uh, well, it's eight. Kind of a different eight, way, but it's uh, well, where I'm about eight miles north of uh, city center, so eight miles. Gotcha. Because my mother lives in South Sacramento. Oh, cool. I haven't really had too much of an opportunity to get out and explore way down there, but I, I will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she went up there when her boyfriend got transferred to Folsom way back in the 70s, early 70s. Oh, cool. So when I was with my mother, because I was back and forth from Watts to Sacramento, like I'd spend the summers with her and we would go to Folsom. I like, grew up in prison, literally. Oh, it is fucking beautiful up there, though. Like around the city around, of Folsom is nice. It's so nice. It's crazy. I don't think most people realize that. But yeah, I especially went around this time of year, because they go all out for Christmas up there. Yeah, it's crazy. Halloween was really fun in Sacramento too. I mean, there were a lot of houses in the neighborhood that just went all out. You know. Yeah, I've always liked Sacramento, even though like my mother lived in South Sacramento, which they call Iraq. <laughs> it's like okay. I grew up with Brother Lynch and people like that right and um they always said it was like so ghetto and so gangster shit but i was like for what i was kind of yeah it's nothing <laughs> yeah it's nothing. yeah there's no comparison i one of my ex-girlfriends lives is from montebello so I, i'm familiar with la how, how things work around there um yeah thankfully the family liked me so i had graces when i rolled into town it was, it was fun but it wouldn't be I wouldn't be nearly as comfortable if I didn't know anybody just pulling it, pulling into those streets. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I post a lot of stuff about Watts and my uh, on my channel, little clips and stuff, and like my nephew who was in jail for murdering another gang member. Oh, but damn. later for that, I noticed Amac is here. Yes. Oh, I'm ready for that <laughs> that '80s music trivia. I'm gonna take it. I, I'm not even worried about it. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna. You just get like I told. You, just give me the trophy now, because. <laughs> well, more importantly, I guess I guess the big question is, what the fuck are you cooking, man? What are you What are you making? Oh, I'm making pozole. Nice. Fuck yeah. 
yeah, because of the race, um, which is a joke. <laughs> I don't know if you care about that kind of shit, but yesterday somebody took out a fire hydrant cover, a manhole cover, just totally ripped apart the undercarriage of their million, multi-million dollar car. They had to redo all of the manhole oh, covers man. for the race. It's crazy. It's not going good. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, the 80s trivia. I'm curious, is it going to be like Dame That Tune? I don't know. Is, I see Amax up here. Is he? She's muted. Uh, yeah, I, and I tried to unmute her, but it says I can't because she chose to mute herself. So we're trying to uh -oh. Uh -oh. figure it out. And then um, blank screen, just tell me if that's really because blank screen. <laughs> Blink screen just got me. Um, I'm going to add you, blank screen. It better be you. Yeah, you never know with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, blank? No, it's Bullhorn Betty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blank, you got me. Oh, my gosh. Hey, thanks for joining us, Blank. We're just shooting the shit up here. Yeah, just stopping by for a bit. Let's see what y'all talking about. Same yeah, old shit, really. Now, come on. You, you really think that bullhorn bag will come on here and take the link? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually like, whoa, she actually knows that we have a channel? Like, I know. I would love that. I would love that. I mean, the offer still stands. I will debate her about uh, fucking toilet paper. I will debate her about anything. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, I see it moving. You you. I think I muted myself before coming in, so my bad. Hello, everybody. Good. Yeah, make Don't sure, Amac, make sure on that trophy you spell my name with a Z. Okay, I will. Way. You know, you guys were saying you live in the Sacramento area. I'm very jealous because my favorite restaurant is over there, and I think it's like one of the last ones wait, left. Wait a minute. Is it called Pig and Butter? No. Okay. Is uh, it called the Dim Sum House on Broadway? No. <laughs> is it called Bertha's? No. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the nice restaurants. I know uh, Paragary's. It's not a nice restaurant. It's it's kind of like a chain, but I miss it. Uh, see, and now I want to play a game. Is it a salt okay, fish and chips? I'll let you guess. Is it a salt fish and chips? No. Okay, that's all I got. It's a, oh, I think okay. it's breaking up a little bit. <laughs> it's a steakhouse. Yes. Oh, I'm breaking know. up. You was, but you clear now. Okay. A steakhouse in Sacramento? Well, it's more, I think it's actually Roseville. Oh, I don't know nothing in Roseville. Oh, okay. Tahoe what Joe's. It? What's it called? It Tahoe Joe's. Tahoe, yeah, I've never heard of that. Roseville is like, um, it's like north, northwest of where, northwest of the city. Up to 80, right? Yep. Yeah, I used to go way, way up there to uh, Garberville. I don't know if you know where that's at. I'm not sure. Then I would go. Then I'm from Garberville. I go up into the mountains and pick up packs. <laughs> I went. We went. I went with my friends out to uh, Prosser Reservoir. Like, um, I just wanted mm -hmm. to see it for myself. And uh, Truckee, right? I had no, I had no idea how cool Truckee is. Like, if I ever become a millionaire, I'm definitely buying a house in Truckee. It's like, really it's, small, isn't it? It's so small. I mean, it's like one or two hotels and then like a bunch of, you know, a, a bunch of storefronts and then that's it. I mean, if, if you go 10 minutes walking in any direction, you're just in fucking wilderness. Yeah, I like I like South Lake Tahoe. Yeah, I, I haven't had too much of an opportunity to get out there, but I hope to. I've got a lot to see still. But I got people up there. I got people up there in Redding. Which is oh, cool. pretty close to Truckee. Yeah, yeah. I love it up there, man. If I if I can afford it, I would just move there and set up shop. Okay, so Amac, 
what is this uh trivia what's what's the how's it gonna go like name that tune type um no it's just 80s trivia it'll be random questions about music in the 80s oh okay i'll still kick ass <laughs> is like anyone last here time, born, just is one, anyone two. here born in the 80s I was I born was. in 69 but I came up in the 80s you know I was a teenager in the 80s and uh, music is a big part of my life I listen to music every day all day I'm listening to music right now what are you uh, listening to right now Al Green you can never go wrong with Al Green that's for sure. I, Al, Green's the, Al Green's the man. <laughs> yeah. uh, Lisa, Lisa uh, asked me, oh, you went up to Prosser Lake. Yes, I went up there. Um, I just could not. I was close enough, and I was just like, I have to go. You know, um, I made a little video. I, I think Emmy made like a short video about it. I left a little cactus, a little red cactus. Like, um, I was so in, so in my, so much of my existence was wrapped up in that case. Um, I was a, a, a staple over in Ick and Mel's channel. And I was, you know, opinionated. And when that shit happened with Ryan Upchurch and uh, the crazy shit that he was saying about Naked Mel, that was like my first taste of what what goes on here, you know. So I I don't know. I took I took I learned a lot of lessons quickly from that shit, and I felt obligated to go out there, you know. And I and when I did go out there, everyone I met was so polite and so nice. And um, I saw some teenagers drinking beers in the tree line, you know. It's exactly what I thought it would be, you know. Yeah, it's definitely small town living up there. Oh yeah, and they're all well off. They're 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 all you know upper middle class. So definitely, yeah, they're they're loaded. Yeah, but you guys, I gotta go. Uh, it was nice, and we'll do this again sometime. And I definitely, you guys, I think you guys should do an open panel channel. This being you know more often. I think yeah, we will. Just, cool. just to yeah, get up nice and all. chat. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much easier to communicate when you're talking to someone instead of like clicking and clacking away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah it, Especially really somebody who can't type or spell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck up often when it comes to that. But yeah, hey, thanks for coming up, man. I really appreciate it. And it's always good to hear from you. All right, bro. See you guys later. Bye, okay. cheese. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Um, will you kick me out, sweetie pie? Oh. Sweetie pie, will you kick me out? <laughs> Thank, thanks, thanks, guys. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Blank. Yes, I was born in the eighties. Probably the only one here. Um. Cool. Yeah, I was seventy-eight. Mid eighties here. Mid eighties. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're I'm mid 80s. Oh, cool. I'm an old man. I went out to, to have lunch by myself yesterday, and this fucking <laughs> this woman <laughs> stared at me from across the restaurant. I was just sitting there in my own world, having a mimosa, just happy. And she walks over. She's just like, I I can't believe how much you look like Billy Bob Thornton. And I was just like, this fucking this lady. I was. <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. I mean, there are worse things to be said. But I didn't see it coming. I thought to myself, I need to fucking shave. I need to, something's got to change. <clears throat> Billy Bob Thornton, that is so random. I know. I know. The thing is, she wasn't completely wrong. That's the thing. That's, that was <laughs> the thing. <laughs> but whatever. I mean, I don't know. So what's the deal with this rapper that came in the chat last night spamming the shit? Yeah, what's dropping the, the What's this deal? I don't know. Like, everyone gives gives that person a pass, and I can't do it anymore. You can't be saying Fuck the pass. I blocked them out that chat as fast as I oh, can. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, no, I'm not sure. saying you. I'm not saying you. But Yeah, I made like, sure what? that the green, green Goblin was already on my block list, and there's two other... So there's three rapper accounts, and Green Goblin are now on the block list, and they're not coming and off. And that's pretty much all the people you have blocked. That's funny. Blank, what I was saying is, not you. I know you don't give people a pass like that, but a lot of people were like, oh, rapper. Like, it's enough. It's not cute anymore. It's just, uh, no. where, I, mean, I mean, honestly, where I'm from, you get punched in the mouth really hard for saying anything near that. Exactly. I mean, it's just, I mean it's uh, what is the point? What is the point of coming in the chat and spam that word in the chat for? What is the point? 
just trying to just trying to you know inflame people and it works because every time i'm just i get pissed off i'm like oh i wish i knew this person was i wish they would say that in front of me um runs with scissors is saying isn't there a girl with a rapper screen name not that i know of all rapper accounts that i see is the same person he, he, he goes by rapper, rap, and um, Green Goblin, or some other stupid name. Oh, and there was another one that I believe I had seen on the block list. That was it was a little different, but I'm pretty sure it was rapper. Yeah, I mean, I my gut feeling tells me it's someone that we all fucking know. You know, I know, Kelsey. Yeah, she says, I wonder who it actually is. They love BHB. Uh, yeah, I've seen them in BHB's chat a lot. Oh, see, I've never, I've never seen that. But again, I don't go over there. When you guys have it covered, I don't hardly have to watch her anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know. What, what do you guys think about like there being, uh, Clip channels that don't have good intentions. Is, there, is that a possibility? Because I think the glare, the glare says, uh, "Blessed are the clip channels," and I used to agree with that shit. But now I'm starting to really wonder what some of these people are up to. I don't know. I mean, yes, yeah, thank God for the clip channels, though. Yeah, doing I mean, the Lord's it's, work. <laughs> it's good, but I mean, like w when I got clipped, they put like this ridiculous name, uh, voice over me, and then. Just let just let the fucking chat run wild, call me a woman beater and uh, live in a base. I mean, just the dumbest shit. I was so oh, I ain't seen that one. I'm not saying. Oh, no, I didn't see that either. I was so. Offended. Well, that's not cool. I know, and I'm just like, come on, can you just delete that shit? Like, why? I wouldn't. I would never allow that to happen on something I had control over. It's just unfair, you know. And it, it's. I'm not gonna say names, but it's these channels. Everyone loves them, and it's just like. Well, what are they doing? You know, I used to look at clip channels and be like, I'm getting information from them, right? But when it happened to me, I'm like, oh. So they just do this. They get, take things out of context and paint it a certain way. Yeah, I think that's where it becomes problematic if they're sharing it with the intention of a different point of view than just what actually the clip is. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it, it twists things, you know, and I, I, just the way it is to some extent. And I, to be clear, I'm not talking about you, Amac. I mean, I like all your stuff. Oh, thank um, you. I'm like, I only clip Betty's crazy yeah, moments. No, I wasn't, you know, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a thing. I don't, I don't want to get into it because I don't trust these people. They're too damn shifty, you know, um, but I'm paying attention and I, I hope other people are as well. Oh, good night, Turtle. Have a good night. Ooh, what? Yeah, have a good night. What movie are you watching? If you could answer before you leave. <laughs> so what time are you supposed to have your trivia night? Um, 7 o'clock West Coast, 10 o'clock East Coast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. It's going to be and a yes, good... It'll be a I good might pop in. Should I had to work tonight, so... <laughs> oh, man. I might pop in for like five minutes, five or ten minutes, then that I'll leave, whatever. What's work, Blank? <laughs> what do you say? I said, what's work? We've got to go to work. I'm being sarcastic because, you know. <laughs> work? Never heard of her. Yeah. Bertha works all the time. She's just so busy. So tired. So tired from being so busy. I'll tell you when I get off here. She, um, you think she's going to show up on Morbid's blank? Um... Well, to be honest with you, uh, she had no idea what she's in for. Well, I I had the but same. We shall thought. see, but we shall see. 
I think it'll be a, a huge mistake if she does it. I really hope she does, but I mean, I don't know uh, if if he's gonna troll her or the chat wanna. I don't know. We'll see. Think, as far as I can tell, it seems like he he actually has compassion for her. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know the guy, but it seems. I to think me he's that... trying to use her to get to Olivia. In my opinion. What do you mean? What do you mean? Olivia like, with her trying, anymore? He's been trying to. Like when he was serenading Bertha and all of that, like he started with, he wanted to get in touch with Olivia. Oh, he wanted a piece of Olivia. That's what you're saying? And when Olivia wouldn't respond, he moved on to Bertha. <laughs> oh, he um, wanted a piece of her. <laughs> but I mean, I how do you see that? <laughs> How do you go from being attracted to someone like Olivia to being attracted to someone like Betty? That's a that's a step. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's trying. I protect your neck at all costs. Bertha to get to Olivia. It might be. I don't know. I I have no idea what his motives are. I oh, like it. Oh man, Kelsey, really? He's going live this at ten Eastern. I wonder what he's going to talk about. Probably. Hopefully not that girl again. Holy cow! That that, that was, was enough. Yeah, that was enough. I hope oh, I never see anything like that again. That's super rude. I didn't like it. I I can't co-sign on something like that. But it, I think I was messaging with Emmy back and forth as as I was watching it, and I was just like, ugh. Like I understand the need to maybe record it on the spot, but I don't want to. Nobody wants to see that shit. And then she was in chat, like, trying to defend herself. It was just, I didn't like it. It made me feel gross. Oh, no. She was in chat. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was, she in, was in there and as... Too, and all this other stuff. It was... Something monster. Oh, like, real monster something? I heard him say like, something. Ah, re yeah. Real ah, monsters. real monster. <laughs> something like that. Oh, yeah. I remember that show back in the day. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> That yeah, goes to show I that I'm old. <laughs> but you couldn't stop watching. It was like, I, I don't, and I mean, I just put that stuff on usually for background noise because I'm usually doing my puzzles or my coloring or, you know, playing my games. And it, I was just like, wow. Yeah, it was, it was tough to watch. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I came home from the game last night and I was a little buzzed. And I put my my earbuds in and pulled the video up, and I was just like, "What is happening?" Yeah, it was disturbing, but I watched every fucking second of it, so I'm, I'm part of the problem, I suppose. But I couldn't look away. Well, yeah, it's like a train wreck. Yeah, literally. Oh God, and he's going about the glare. Well, oh, see, everyone, oh, that's this what is it's gonna tonight. be. Yes, this yep. is going to be interesting because I don't know what's going on with those guys. Like, it, I'm interested. Who's not, right? What's I going know. on now? Oh, I guess Morbid they, is they going some... live about the glare at 10 Eastern. For what? I thought him and the glare are cool. They ended I don't know. Their terms. It seems like something is up. He said several times in his live, his last live, that He'll he'll talk about more or about the glare. He's not ready to do that yet. He's going to get his thoughts together. I'm and the sure glare said he's sick tonight, so he wouldn't be. Oh yeah, he's got the flu. He said. Live streaming. Should I reschedule my trivia? I don't think so. I mean, no, I not necessarily. Trivia. Yeah, you can't. Okay. You can't. Bend, you can't bend around what these fucking people do. You, yeah, never, that's you true. Go live. You'll never be able to go live if you do it. I mean, it's good. Like, I noticed Emmy and Blank sort of piggyback off each other in their times, you know. Um, right, right. It's, it's cool to have some coordination, but for the most part, you got something to say, you just got to go. You know, you just got to do it. People will rewatch it if they miss it. Yeah, for sure. True. Yeah, I agree, Kelsey. Like, just talk and work it out. And I feel like, you know, in bringing a lot of this to um, YouTube to work it out, like, I don't know, do it privately. Yeah, it's it's like family members that fight on Facebook. Yeah. Right. Through posts. 
but I, but I just did that. I just I just dragged two people that are feuding with each other. Maybe you guys didn't notice, but there are people that are feuding here. One, one, both have been chatting, and Cheese is the other one. So he came up. Um, he didn't talk about what I hoped he would, but um, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of like talking it out, working it out with people. And I think sometimes being put on the spot helps. Yeah, that usually works most of the time. Yeah, and I guess it I guess it would depend on the situation too. You know, like Sinner and I've had disagreements, especially, you know, when I hid my channel. Uh oh yeah. <laughs> I was and, nice. I was nice. I didn't curse. No, you didn't. But I do believe you hung up on me. Yeah. Um anyways. Thanks. Yeah, I was I was tragically disappointed. <laughs> I was just like, dude, we're the only ones that can stop her. What are we doing? We can't stop now. Right. But, <laughs> I mean, that was the vibe. You know, I didn't... <laughs> we have to save YouTube. So I guess so it wasn't time out then. What's that? I guess so it wasn't time out for hanging up on you, right? <laughs> no. Well, I, I said, like, I need time, right? But yeah, anyways, then, we, we worked it out. Like Yeah, we know? worked it out. I, I think I said, I'm going to fucking just delete YouTube. He called me back. Time. I mean, he hung up on me, but he did call me back. So, I mean. Yeah, of course. No, I was I was upset. I was just like, I don't understand. You're, they, like, this woman just doxed you. Like, why would you back down now? It, the, the worst thing she could do, she just did. So, that was my philosophy. But I understand. Like, you... You made me feel horrible when you're like, I have to protect my family. And, you know, like, I was just like, oh, you're right. You know, not everybody's a lone wolf like me. They could just fucking do whatever I want. You know, I don't really have much obligation. So I try to make my obligation making things around me better than they are when I when I show up. Amen, sister. <laughs> yep. And it, it's it's but, sometimes sometimes I say cunt, my bad. Um, it just is. I have a filthy mouth. I was just raised by wolves, and I joined the military, and it never stopped. So, I think I'll have to get struck by fucking lightning to stop cursing. It happens. So it is what it is. Then. Yep. But you know, my point with that is we talked about it not on YouTube, like. Yeah, you worked it out privately behind mm -hmm. the scenes. Uh, she said, I just don't have time to get into birth right now. Samira. I know, I, I got you. I, I look forward to speaking much more about it, too. I don't think we're that far off. Yeah, I agree, Kelsey. That's the way to go. It's just <clears throat> Did you did you see any of Bertha tonight blank screen? No. Except for that little short video that she did this morning. A little seven minute video. That's all I saw. I uh I finally got into her chat today for the first time in like uh been over a year. Yesterday she was clickbaiting oh, yesterday, so I know that was funny. Funny, not funny. I mean, you gotta be real pathetic to use clickbait just to get viewers, more viewers and views. How sad. I mean, I think everyone does it to an extent, but if that's if that's your one trick, it's just to have stupid ass thumbnails. I mean, yeah. I th I thought today, like, what would happen to Betty if if there was no internet? Like, if, if she just had no access to internet, what would happen in her existence? She would just shrivel up. She wouldn't know what to do. She'd go to the gun drawer and pace around. That would be interesting. Someone should make a movie about that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, I, I love YouTube. I love hanging out with you guys. It's so much fun. Um... But if the if the power went out and I couldn't talk to you guys, I would still be able to fucking 
survive. To, yeah, I'd be able to figure out how to wash my clothes and get some food, you know? Yeah. And that's what it's all about. It's, it's like, it has nothing to do with the internet. It's just like, if, if, if that's all you are, is an internet person, then you're, you're like half of what an, an average person is, in my opinion. You gotta be yeah. balanced, man. You gotta learn how to fucking grow tomatoes, you know? She doesn't know anything. Nothing. Yeah, I agree, Karen. She's too <laughs> preachy. And even today, I had her at half volume, and it was still too loud. Yeah, uh, when you sent me that clip of her and that Twitter DM, she was like screaming and shit. I was like, whoa, what the heck is her problem? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she's, just, she's just frantic. She's a frantic person. Yeah, and then the cackle or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> yeah. Well, she said she was going to a baby shower. Who in their right fucking mind would invite Bullhorn Betty to a baby shower? Protect your kids, people. What the fuck? But I don't think she went because then she was live. So I have to, I want to see the beginning of her live to see why she was live when she was supposed to be at two different events. Oh, yeah, because she also had a dinner, right? Mm -hmm. She said she had a political dinner to go to. Uh, Karen had a cool comment. She said uh, a lot of people on YouTube uh, went away. I'll paraphrase. A lot of people on YouTube are looking for validation. I can see it. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I guess I am, too. I mean, I guess each of us are in our own weird little way. Um, But some people really... Like they, they, if, if they didn't have it, that's, they wouldn't be who they are. You know, it's just, it's too, too important in their existence, you know? Oh, bye. Bye, Blink. I know. I just saw, I was like, wait, where'd Blink bye, go? Blank. Have a good night at work, Blink. He's got to go to work. Sorry if I'm talking over everyone. I just got a lot to say. Oh, no. And I mean, no. even... I mean, and like this channel is both of ours. So even if you wanted to come live, oh, Blank's back. If you wanted to come live and do a show, I mean, you have all the rights to this. Oops, hang on, Blank. I had to unstick my mouse. I know, Sinner, you should have a Festivus show and have your errands of grievances. Yeah, yeah it seems like see, hey, I, I need to get the channel going because I, it, it's coming off that every time I'm ever talking on anyone else's channel, then I'm just bitching. And it's because I'm trying to get my points across as quickly as I can. You know, I, I have fun too. I actually laugh most of the day. Um, it doesn't seem that way, I'm sure, but I do. Um, I, just, I just don't like people that are bad to other people. Totally. But I, I, I come here for validation just like everyone else does to some effect. I, I want to be liked. Fuck, we all do. Like, who, who are we kidding? Um, and I'm, yeah. I'm even okay yes. with people just disliking me if they have a legit legit uh, argument to support it. I mean, you can't just say, oh, he's obviously an angry man who beats women. Nobody feels like to hear that kind of shit about you. It's like, what? What are you talking about? Do I have to go live with all of my ex-girlfriends? I'm friends with most of them. I mean, they're not going to tell right. you the same story. They're not going to say that because it's not true. And it just sucks to see it. And then people are like, yes, that must be true. Fuck all of those weirdos. That is crazy. It did affect me. Like when it was going on, I was losing sleep and shit. Yeah. I feel like that would affect anybody. Yeah, it sucks. Because that's, yeah, that's just, you don't go there. Yeah, I wish I worked for the FBI. <laughs> <Cocoa Puff. laughs> oh, I'm such a fucking maniac that I considered, like, going and seeing what positions at YouTube are available. Because if I can work for YouTube, I'll save all of us. <laughs> <laughs>
it would be so much Wait. fun just shutting down Betty's live, making a friend in the in the in the mail room that does has that power and just be like, hey, here, here's two hundred bucks. Just turn that shit off every time she goes live. I, I know it's somebody. I, I know somebody from another community that can actually do that. Oh, that's awesome. Intimidating. They um they like to um mess with somebody's router and um do things with it. Yeah, that's no comment. <laughs> I knew some guys when I when I went to Santa Barbara City College that were heavy into uh, computer fun things like that and uh one of them i think is probably still in jail for shit that he was doing i, I wasn't really aware of it so you know the details but i guess they were like hacking into um governmental like missile control computers it was always no always that's they, that's a no-no no right there i know but the thing is they were just brats they were like spoiled rich kids and they they weren't going to do they were going to launch a missile or anything they were just showing the flaws in the system, basically. So, like, one of them went to prison. He's still there. The uh, Two of the other guys work now for the government, you know, computer, whatever. What year did you go to Santa Barbara City College? Uh, 2000. Uh, my first year there was 2012. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a friend that went there, but I think it was like 2007. Okay. It's a cool place. I mean, I, I loved it there. Um, I had a really cool occurrence, like a, the head of the art department at Santa Barbara City College is, is this man named Ed Inks, and he is from Pittsburgh, my hometown. And um, we were both raised Catholic, so we bonded real quick. So he, he had my back and helped me get all the materials I needed to do for the sculptures I was working on at the time. So oh, that's super I mean, cool. if I didn't oh, have cool. that connection, I would have just been another student in the class, but he went out of his way to really help me out. It's always nice having somebody like that, that'll help you, especially like in college with a transition. Oh yeah. I mean, I was just fresh out of the Marine, so I had no fucking idea what I was doing at all. I just, I just knew that, you know, I'm, the government's going to pay for my my education i might as well take advantage of it oh for sure so the gi bill i mean i got out of the marines i didn't really i went straight to school so i didn't have to work because i was getting x amount of dollars per month and it covered my rent and you know of course the so you was living a good life then yeah i really was i really was and i was in i was in like a, a spoiled little town with a bunch of spoiled people around me so i just i really enjoyed it you know what I mean? um I wasted all kinds of money. Yeah, that's where I went to my first free birds was oh, yeah. visiting my friend in the at I Santa Barbara City College. Isla Vista, great. Yes, yes. It's like legendary. I, I don't I don't like I'm not a keg party type of guy, I never was. But uh Isla Vista, they have like legendary fucking parties there. Like uh, it's UCSB, it's the neighborhood that's right there. Yeah, there's a whole street that they shut down, right? Oh, People just walk in it. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it's just, it's bananas. I, I mean, it could be 10,000 people. Just It looks like Mardi Gras. Yeah, yeah. I remember it being like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. And the cops, it's like shooting fish in the barrel. They just go out in little teams of three. And they just anyone they stop is smoking a joint or underage drinking. So they just they just take Well, it. they be doing yeah. it too. They be doing <laughs> it too. Shit. Exactly. But I mean I'd i watch the cops from my balcony and we'd sit up there and just cackle at people. And I'd watch they just roll in and they wouldn't even no one even had to do anything wrong. They would just basically just go put their hand on someone's elbow and like walk them away. Like, wow, and just meeting the quota. So I won't say which episode, but my sister's house um, in college or her party that her house threw was on an episode. Have you guys ever seen Campus PD? I have not. not. Oh, um, I heard of it, but I've never seen it though. 
it's the I don't know how many years it was on, but it, yeah, it was an older show. But it was basically like cops, but for college towns, they go like break up like house parties and like drug busts like and stuff like police, that. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the party that my uh sister threw ended up on campus PD. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty crazy. <laughs> I know there was, I, I've never seen Campus PD, but there was like a, a, like a, I don't know, how do you say this? There was a porn production company that breezed through Isla Vista one time and like made all kinds of videos of, you know, party girls. So there was like a whole, a whole half a year that these videos were coming out and they were like neighbors and the, the girl from Starbucks, like it was just bizarre. Hmm. That is very weird. <laughs> yeah, it was so weird. It was like, you know, just typical, you know, the that type of business. I assume they just take advantage of people, right? So that's what they did. You all right there, Hairstones? I'm good. I'm just watching chat. Yeah, I don't see chat at all. My bad. Just chilling. Yeah. I am going to jump down. Um but oh, yeah we've been on for hopefully see you guys later time. yeah for sure. sure and before you leave um drop your link again amac okay i will thanks guys yeah. see you soon see you guys later yep and then yep. there were three yep you sound like you're getting sleepy oh no no <clears throat> No, I slept, I actually slept till seven this morning and then I took a nap. So I'll be good for a little bit. I slept in, I woke up and I, I woke up and I went for this, I, I went to the, the dispensary because I have a prescription for, for marijuana where I live, but here you don't need a prescription. So I just went to the dispensary and bought these five pack of joints pre-rolled and I smoked one with my coffee after I woke up and I went back to sleep for like a couple hours. It was stronger. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it was stronger. It was stronger than I thought it would be. It was just like time to go to sleep. See you, Lisa. Have a good one. Bye, Lisa. Lisa's always been really nice to me. I gotta say, I mean, all the way back. I think. Yeah, Lisa's been people. with me a long time. That's cool. I like it. There are really good people around here. If you pay attention, you know. If you invest a little bit, just have a yep. conversation. So, Eva, right. so what's okay. everyone's plans for the holiday on Thanksgiving? I don't know what we're doing. We usually go, usually we go to my sister's, but I'm not sure. I usually find out at the last minute. I just go. I just go where they tell me to. I'll be um, going to my my uh, my buddy's house. They get like a Thanksgiving dinner in a box from like a store. Everything's in there. The same family cool. I, I I cook for often. I I cook their dinner three days a week. It's part of my gig out here. Yeah, we used to do the Thanksgiving in a box, and then. I think it was last year, like the price jumped so high. Yes. It was like, we'll just do it ourselves. Yeah. They're they're so busy. I mean, they've got two young children and um my one friend, she's a uh, hospice nurse. So she's like like the she goes when people pass away in the middle of the night and make you know, as they're passing away to make sure they're comfortable. So <laughs> Oftentimes I talk to her, she's upset, obviously, from the night before, right? Um, and then he's like a computer guy. He works for the government. So they're both very busy. So I, I'm uh, I'm happy that I can help, you know, help them out as much as I can. Yeah, that's nice. They're great parents, too. They're raising great kids. So I need to kind of support that. Yeah, I agree. And Karen, I hope you feel better. It, I hate coughing. I think that's the worst when you're sick because it's the it's like the thing that lingers. 
and it's just no it's just so having one side of the nose clog is the worst it is well that is true when you, too when you're trying to sleep like what what about when you're trying to sleep and then one side gets, gets clogged up and then you roll over and then that was like, <laughs> yeah like, i hate like, that and then they I switch sides that. Yeah, I'm like I think God made my nose on a on a Friday, and He's just trying to get out of work early. Like, what's the problem? I don't know. I feel like I mean, mine does that sometimes, but I feel like since I had surgery, it's not as bad. It happens to me. I think almost every day. I just I've reached the point where I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going to sleep anyways. I can't. I can't worry about it. What are you doing, Blank, for Thanksgiving? Um, just having some family over it and, you know, to hang out and, you know, the usual. That's pretty much That's it. Football. Cool. Although yeah, my, yeah. my nephew's really into football, so watching football actually isn't as bad because, like, he, he just, he loves football. Like, he walks around the house with a football. But then he can't throw the football in, in my parents' house, so he'll use a sock. He'll put his socks in a ball and use that as a football. That's what we, that, that's what I used to do when I was a kid. Same oh here. yeah, yeah. Same he here. just he just loves it. Laundry basket and a bunch of balled off socks. You could keep me occupied for like two whole hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I'm far away from my 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 actual family. My mom, uh, my stepmom, and my dad. I'm far away from them this year, so it's weird. I usually spend it with them, but I'll be I'll be around good people, so it'll be fun. Yeah, I think my favorite, like I like turkey, obviously, but my favorite thing at Thanksgiving has got to be sweet potatoes. I love them. Uh, you know what? I know it's, it might be a cheap shot, but I bet Betty only eats the white meat. Oh my god! Since when? Um, since when she ever? Since when she ever had one? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the turkey, the turkey, the turkey. <laughs> Stay focused, Blake. No wonder why she been so bitter. <laughs> I mean, why doesn't she just have like a live where she says, all right, guys, I got to talk about these pictures and uh, it's not who I am. You, you know why she can't do that? Because it is who she is. Exactly. I don't know. I just never, I never got along with, with racist people like um, that little nudge nudge you get from a, a fellow white guy that's like, Hey, listen to this. I never fucking play along with that. I've always been against it since I was a child. So, like, when I see other people, I'm like, oh, they're just stupid. They're dumb people. That's what's going on. People are naturally yeah. for what they don't know. Oh, sausage dressing. Oh, southern creamed. What is southern creamed corn? Is that is there something different in that? You never had creamed corn before. Well, no, I've had creamed corn, but she said southern creamed corn. Is there a difference? Hmm, I don't know. Every actually, my favorite. favorite corn dish is scalloped corn, and a lot of I like a lot of people up here haven't heard of it, but my mom's made it for years, and it's I love it. I can tell you, and Cheese would know this as well. There is a, a thing that happens in Southern California where beautiful Mexican people have carts with corn on a stick. It's called elote. And it's loaded up with sour cream, all kinds of spices. It's maybe one of the best fucking things that exist on earth. Do yeah, no food trucks be doing the thing, man. It, this is just a cart. I'm like I'm, I'm in California, just right up the street, like at the main intersection. It's just a cart. You can get mangoes, like sliced mangoes with chili powder on it. It's just it's unbelievable. It's so good with cheese. Yeah, cheese knows. I'm sure they have it in New York as well, but 
it's definitely it's it's definitely a, a Mexican thing and it's it's incredible. All right. Well, we've been live for about two hours and 15 minutes. So we've got about 20, well, 35 minutes until AMAX live. I think I need a snack. Same. Yeah, I'm about to hop down too and find something to munch on, whatever I got in here. <laughs> so, but. Yeah, your clutch. yeah, thanks for coming up, everyone. Thanks for coming up, Blake. And uh, thanks for No yeah. problem. And uh, uh sorry, I apologize for tricking you. You thought I was born better coming all right. up. <laughs> it's all right. You, you pumped you me. That was, that was perfect. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, apologize and I said I... it's not April Fools yet. Not yet. It will be Boy. New Year's before we fucking know it, though. Um, yeah. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that you catch on to that quickly because I, I hit the exit button. Oh no! As you, as I, I can. mean, I saw it was there for a, probably at least ten seconds. Yeah. Man, if Betty came over here and popped up with us, we would become fucking famous on, on the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> I wouldn't even want that. Good night, Cheese. Uh, sorry if I talked over everyone. I had a lot to say. No problem. You're good. It's fine. I talk too much, too, but I have my own channel for it, so. Fair enough. I'm working on it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm compiling all, like, I've got a bunch of, like, really big channel creators that um have yelled at me in their chat i'm basically clipping everyone saying sinner 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 so i mean it's funny i got some gems in there i even and got actually bertha's been talking about sinners lately as well so i know you could even clip sinners, some of her i even got upchurch saying sinner who the fuck is the sinner guy he says oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be cool that's it's, i'm making an intro I, I tried to find a song, but like there's so many good songs, I can't do it. Fuck it. But yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Blank, for coming up and Cheese and AMAC. It was fun. Sure. Um, I, I'll probably be live tomorrow because it's Sunday. Um, we haven't done well, you the have a members yet. only live tomorrow or something. What's that? Well, you having a members only live? Yeah, I usually do that on on Sundays, but I don't know. I might do a non like just anybody live because I have done members only the past couple of weeks, and then I open it up. But I just feel like I don't know. Like I would just do the word game. We haven't done that all week, and I kind of miss it. So I do have to say that. I, I have talked so much shit on panel channels, but it's a lot more. I get it now. It's a lot more fun. It's been fun talking to you guys. Yeah, because you can actually talk and not have to type. You know what I mean? And you can hear inflections and. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. I like it. I just have to get better at condensing what I'm trying to say so I don't blab over everyone. Oh, yeah, and JLL actually did get a gifted membership yesterday, so that's fun. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Any last words? No, not really. Do good things. Yeah, and until next time, we'll see y'all later. Okay, okay.